as promised folks, unboxing of new boots. Uh, they've come all the way from America. So uh, let's get into them. Try to open up the box without carving off a finger. It's always a good plan. Over the years, I've been through quite a few pairs of boots, as I'm sure all of us have. Winter fishing, I used to have the moon boots, not the ski tex moon boots. They were okay, but you couldn't walk anywhere in them because of the stupid way they were designed. Again, if you were sat in a boat and not going anywhere, they were fine, but walking at a distance and you were just screwed because your feet ended up killing you. So, they were no good. In the end, I ended up uh, just wearing normal walking boots like uh, Scarpa or Merle or, you know, even Altberg, you know, or Altberg, whatever you want to call it. Just normal walking boots. To this day, if I have to go anywhere and the ground's relatively good, I'm going to wear boots. But, we don't always get that here. Sometimes we have to walk through the swamp. So, we're going to now unbox the boots. <laughs> Set this down. Stab anything. I didn't have a choice between these. These are the Under Armour Hogzilla. Under Armour Hogzilla 800 boot. Now, again, uh, they were the same price as the muck boots. They're actually a bit more thermal than the muck boots, if that makes any sense. The muck boots were, I think it was 600 and this is 800. But one of my friends in America, he is a, like an outdoorsman, like a shooter, fisherman. He's a... Uh, his, where he lives in America is pretty much like what Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK is like in the winter. But maybe they get a little bit harsher in the winter. He was the one that suggested getting these uh, because they were, well, he's they were good boots. So the same price as the muck boots, I kind of went and bought these. Now, first impressions, I'm liking the sole. Good, big, thick, chunky sole. I'm liking the grab handle. It kind of help you get the things pulled on. I went for a size 13. Now, American sizes are daft. If you're a size 13 or a size 12 boot like I am, you have to buy a size 13 because the Americans are strange. So, this is a size 12. Now, it should be roomy enough to get a pair of thin socks and a pair of proper thick socks on underneath it. As you can see, it's your standard rubber boot, neoprene upper. Doesn't actually weigh that much. I'm actually surprised how light that is. Get the other one out. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised at how light these are. First impressions, and obviously I'll do a long-term review. Uh, Probably in about 18 months I'll do another review of them. Just so you can, so if they were crap I'll come back and I'll come back and tell you that they were no good, or they were good. That's just the spam. So yeah, I'm actually very impressed with these. Last year I bought a pair of Vass uh, thermal boots. And I'll be honest with you, they were a turd. They were crap. The, the sole split in here and the leak. I only had them. I had them for about two months before this happened. So I was actually a bit disappointed that they were as poorly made. Now I know everyone rages on about Vass about how the old cool carp kids or everything has to be Vass, but I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really impressed with Vass. Yeah, I quite like these. I will be giving these, 
These are the Under Armour Hogzilla uh, Ridge Reaper 800 XTEA boot. Again, really liking the sole. Not sure how well you're going to pick that up. But it's a nice aggressive thread. So when you're walking through crap, you're not going to be uh, slipping it over. Nice hard toe. Again, good. Good heel to help you get the boot off again. And I'm liking the idea of this uh, grab handle for pulling them on. Really, I'm liking that. Yeah. And these will come in a funky camo. Definitely, well, we'll give them a good test, pardon my language. They're going to go right up to my uh, knee, or just below my knee, so that's going, to be a, that's going to be a good thing. When I'm going fishing and I have to push a barrel, obviously if I can't wear boots I'm going to go wearing these. Here where I fish, uh, walking in chest waders is an absolute nightmare. You will be sweating like a hooker in a church. Just no good for you. I tend to take my chest bitters and put them into a bag and then put them in the barrow and push the stuff to the swim and if I have to wait I put the chest bitters on. The thing I like about these boots off the initial impression is the inside's kind of like a mesh feeling. Obviously you have the thick neoprene but you have got the mesh on the inside. The thing I found with like the fur line, the, fo the, fo the fleece line boot it starts to smell after a while. That was the problem with the moon boots, the ski tex moon boots. It was like having two dead sheep rotting on your feet. You know, it was okay if you kept the buggers on, but when you went into your bivvy and you took the damn things off, your bivvy just stank. You couldn't have them inside, they were rotten. So there you have it. The unboxing and initial review of the Under Armour Hogzilla 800 Reaper Ridge Boot and if it's a load of crap I'll come back and I'll tell you it's a load of crap oh just a quick one before I go thanks to everyone who's liking subscribing and all the other stuff on the videos great love you all thanks to everyone that's on the Facebook page and they're leaving comments and stuff like that there again brilliant uh, I'll leave a link to the Facebook page and I'll leave a link to Under Armour's site for these here if you're interested in getting them. Ordering from the USA, six working days guys, so it was, you know, I've ordered stuff from England It took longer than six working days to get here, so can't fault the, the postage. I got them on eBay, proof that you get a bargain, but you just have to look for it. Anyway. Thanks for watching, I'll see you after.